So one good news for all of you is that Mitex Global Link Research Internship application forms are already open and this video is regarding the things that you need to take care while filling the application form. I am the Mitex intern in the year 2019 and I have been to Canada for three months. Although there is nothing much to discuss in this video and we will look into the application form itself. We will look into some other details that you need to take care while filling the application form. You don't have to do these kind of mistake in order to get disqualified from this internship so we will discuss all about this in this video uh, i have provided all the information that is being required to fill the application form starting from the document preparation uh, your cv creation all have been already been provided you can also check it out my another video as well uh, without any further delay let's start this video back to my computer screen so now we start looking into filling the application form of the my applications are already open and you can fill the application form till 22 september uh, so these are the guidelines that you need to first check it out particular uh, internship is applicable for both undergraduate as well as the master's students according to the eligibility listed so you need to available for the 12 consecutive weeks in order to get the good number of chances for the selection as you can see uh, which is clearly been written uh, second thing that we came across is that uh, says the passport of your home country that is valid at least uh, until January 2024. So once you have completed the application form, I would recommend to start preparing for the passport application. When talking about specifically for the country India, it will take uh, around three months time in order to get your passport. And sometimes you might have some difficulty also because there might be some corrections in your father name, mother's name that you also need to take care so you might uh, need to get visit to the passport office and all what i would say that uh, you should not wait for the last minute to get your passport ready in your hands so you can also start uh, preparing the passport even after getting the final confirmation from the mitex uh, generally the result used to come in the month of january uh, at that time also you can also um, start preparing for your passport also. so if you think your documents does not require any sort of correction and all you need to get the letter of the recommendation if you really had the doubt so i have already made a separate video regarding the documents that you need to prepare uh, which you can check it out you need to apply in the minimum of the three maximum seven projects depending upon projects are belong from the three different canadian provinces. and you also need to provide the official transcript from your home university so transcript is like if you are currently in your third year of the undergraduate course so transcript will provide you the complete information of the course that you have passed and whatever grades that you got so it is like the summary of the examinations that you have passed and the course you have taken and what grades that you have achieved till now it's mandatory to get the transcript ready for this particular internship if at the last minute you are unable to get the transcript from the home university then in that case you can use the mark sheet also you can upload the mark sheet in the application form because i know some of the students earlier applied through the mark sheet and they did not face any problem at all and they also get selected in this internship because you still had the time to get this particular thing done and you already know that what need what is transcript and all right earlier this information is not very clear to the uh, applicants and they used to provide their uh, mark sheet so now this information is being clear to you and start that particular activity in getting the transcript from the home university and, and get ready as, as soon as possible because you still have one month time in order to complete the application now we go to the application part as you can see so in this particular section you have to fill the personal information there is nothing much to discuss all about this which you can check it out on your own and this is the education part so if you have given the english proficiency exam then you can provide the details over there otherwise it is not required from us and in the background research and the interest so for this particular section i have already created this particular video which you can check it out um in order to get the much details how you need to prepare all those details and and 
uh, you need to provide these details in the hundred words so it will be a challenge for you how you need to collate all the information in just hundred words so remove unnecessary details and try to review that particular paragraph refine this particular paragraph as uh, as better as possible so these are just the questions that you need to answer experience with my text which you can uh, check it out on your own academic reference uh, so you can provide the details of the uh, two professors although at least one the professor uh, details is required which can provide the letter of recommendation but if it seems to you that your professor kind of very busy person he he or she does not usually reply to the email in that case you can also take the letter of recommendation physically and you can directly upload from over there so at, at my time I have uploaded a single letter of recommendation so it is not necessary that uh, as many as a letter of recommendation you will provide it will increase your chances yeah it will definitely going to increase your chances but it depends equally on other factors as well so for the sake you can take the reference letter from the two of the professors if, if you, you are able to approach the professor it is fine but otherwise it is not as such required and in your acknowledgement uh, you can acknowledge this is the main part which is selection of the project like this is the transcript which he, which we have already talked about and this is the resume and the cv which you have to create it using the mytex template th that they have provided over there also now we look into the project section which is the main section of the application so during the initial days of this filling the application form you need to devote yourself completely towards selection of the projects which are very important from the application point of view you need to select the right uh, projects which are applicable to you which you think that you have a good experience even if not then you might think that uh, that you have the suitable evidences that you can show to the professors in your cv or in any other form if you are applying to these particular projects so you need to select those particular projects uh, there is a keyword section in which you can uh, write the domain in which you wanted to work on suppose if you wanted to work in blockchain then you can write the blockchain keyword and it will filter out the projects for you so it will definitely going to take the time so that's why i am saying that you need to devote yourself for the 15 to 20 days which are initial 15 to 20 days to in order to select the project and also you need to take care that uh, you need to choose the project which belongs to three different provinces and the province you can select it from there like alberta british columbia which comes with different universities and the project uh, you need to select the projects this way and the second important thing that you need to take care like suppose you were liking this particular projects uh, according to the description and how you need to select the projects because the description is been given to you and if you need more details regarding this project so you get this project description you get the student role required skills and what you need to do actually and what are the required skills and project activities what does it involve it does not mean that you have to satisfy every option which is being present in this particular list but at least you will satisfy some of i and you have some evidences to prove in your application as well additional information is given to you the start date is flexible or not so you have all these details in order to take care if you feel that it is suitable for you as well and in order to get the more description of the projects what you can do you can search this particular professor online and you can go directly to the profile of that particular professor and can look out for that particular project if it is being listed in the professor's profile or not so in this way that you will get the more information regarding this particular project but one thing that you need to take care after going to the professor's profile you are not required and it is not legitimate to contact any sort of recommendation for this internship you need to take care of that and it might lead to the disqualification so rather than than doing this kind of the activity because the mytex and the uh, university professor has the good collaboration you can get the required information according to like what is written what is being written in the professor's profile if there is any research paper related to that particular project then you can also get the information from there also yeah, this way you will get the much information about the project and you will be able to understand more about this particular project if you need to apply it 
to this or not next thing that we are going to talk about like after uh, applying to this application form what will happen generally professor used to contact the interview uh, generally professors used to contact the students for the interview because in that particular project there might be the certain number of students who have uh, shown their interest and the professor need to choose the some of the students according to the required capacity in that case they could take the interview of those students it is not always the case most of the students does not have to go through the interview process because either in the professors group they are in need of the more students as compared to the interest being shown uh, that particular project or they have chosen the right students uh, according to the skills that the that the student uh, is currently having you need to go through the interview process uh, they are going to ask the very general question they need to confirm that uh, whether you are the right candidate for them or not whether you are really interested for that particular project or not in that case so if you are not very much clear about the project you can also look out for the uh, professor's profile if that particular project has already been listed over there so you can get uh, some of the information from there also and even if you are not able to understand completely but if you get some of the context then it will definitely going to work and it will sh it shows that you are really interested for that particular pro at the time of the interview they might ask you that if you had any other questions for them this is the best time for you to clear the doubts regarding the particular projects if you had any multiple professors of the different projects that you have applied can contact you at the last whatever project that fits in your case the mitex is going to assign you that particular project and uh, it will also ask you the priority that you need to give in the particular project while applying to this application so let's end this video so hope this video will be useful while applying to this uh, mitex internship application form even if there is any other doubt let me know in the comment section or you can directly reach out to me by looking into my linkedin profile at the channels uh, about section in the last what i can say that best of luck or good luck whatever applicable to you till then bye bye